है ये हेलो रुवान हवी ऑल टूडे सो आज हम करने वाले हैं कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ टीचिंग सो दिस वुड बी एन एंटायर प्ले लिस्ट इन इंग्लिश आई हैव मेड द सेम प्ले लिस्ट इन हिंदी एज वेल सो इफ़ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू वॉच द एंटायर सीरीज इन हिंदी अगर आप हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो हिंदी में पूरी सीरीज अवेलेबल है जिसमें थर्टी एट वीडियोज़ हैं तो मैं आपको बता दूँ इसमें टोटल थर्टी एट वीडियोज़ हैं ये थर्टी एट वीडियोज़ आपका पूरा टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड कम्प्लीट करते हैं तो If I talk about this particular video, this would be the fourth part in teaching aptitude, where we are uh, just trying to understand or just trying to start with the basic characteristics of teaching. Okay, so let's start with today's topic. This is all we have done. I've give I've given you a brief about what is NTA UGC NET exams. Now. In the last lecture, we understood like what is teaching aptitude. We also have gone through uh, concepts of teaching, like what is formal teaching and informal teaching. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to understand what do we mean by various characteristics of teaching, and uh, how these characteristics affect the teaching process. Okay, so let's start with the basics one. Uh, characteristics of teaching. The first step or the first character is a system of action. now why it is a system of action action here means process okay so to make you understand this in detail let me take a workbook here and with the help of workbook you'll be able to understand this thing in a more better manner suppose if we start with the point of system of action so here if i talk about system system means process system includes process so it is a systematic process which means it is a step by step process so you have to complete the first step and then you have to go to the second step so teaching the first uh, you can say the characteristics of teaching is it is a system of action it is a systematic process the next one if we talk about is a professional activity now what do we understand by professional activity professional activity is something where uh, a person has got a certificate or he is professionally capable of doing that particular activity for example if you have completed your mbbs then you will be a certified doctor and then you are allowed to treat your patients but at the same time if you are not a doctor or if you don't have any medical expertise you will not be allowed to take care of any of your patients so why is that only because of uh, professionalism so professionalism comes with a particular degree it comes with your education and your research and knowledge on that particular topic so if i talk about professionalism it is completely related to your certification your examination that you are qualified to do that particular activity or not the next is subject to analysis and assessment now teaching is something that is that needs to be analyzed on day to day basis to see that if there are any problems or if anything is going smoothly or there are any changes which are required to be made so if i talk about the third point subject to analysis and assessment this is also very important because a teacher has to understand the entire procedure of evaluation the teacher has to evaluate the students and on base of that evaluation the teacher will be able to understand what is going right and what is going wrong the next is it is an interactive process yes it is an interactive process why so because it is a two way process okay so here the child is not a passive listener he is treated as an active learner and active listener where he tries to understand what the teacher is trying to say as well as respond to the same so this would be the next one that is interactive process it is a two way communication process if you go to the fifth point it is a specialized task specialized means who has the experience who has the knowledge and who is able to uh, you can say replicate the results so here if i talk about a specialized task it is related to an experience in that particular uh, field or knowledge or you should have knowledge of that particular 
activity that you're going to do so if you're going to do teaching okay you should know what teaching is you should know how teaching is done what are the different methods as well as you should be able to experience the same so that when you are going to teach again or for the next time you have the experience you know what are the problems you know the challenges and then you can move forward okay the next one it is it is collection of various modes so when we are just going to move forward with this lecture no? like the step by step lecture we will also learn different levels as well as different methods of teaching so if i specifically talk about methods uh just give me a second yes so these are the different methods of teaching or modes of teaching so we can have large group teaching methods small group teaching method individualized teaching method we can also have learner centric method teacher centric method we could also have uh, online method offline method participative methods so there can be various modes various methods through which teaching takes place so uh, teaching is very flexible it could be changed according to the need of the student according to the circumstances and situations okay the next one is it is collection of various modes we have completed it it has different levels yes it usually has three different levels that is memory level understanding level reflective level that we are going to learn in the next class uh it takes place in dynamic environment yes now what happens is the teaching process is taking place in a dynamic environment what do you mean by dynamic so if you don't know the exact meaning of dynamic what you can do is you can just write down the meaning here dynamic here means which keeps on changing okay so what is happening here here the teaching process is Go is you can say, uh, is taking place in such an environment which is changing frequently, very frequently. If I uh, can give you example of the same, suppose in the olden days the education was very uh, you can say, uh, unorganized. I could say that, or else it was in a very different kind of environment. Why? Because we had gurukuls. in indian tradition but if i talk about new uh teaching environment or new school system now what happens is we have schools we have particular curriculum we have a set of syllabus that a student needs to complete so here the in entire environment the entire dynamic the entire situation has changed in the olden days traditional methods were used traditional subjects were taught and it was the education or the training was dependent on that era or the demand of that particular era but right now we have different schools and various facilities in the schools there is even online teaching going on which was not possible in the olden era so here if you see na there is a drastic change from the old to new but even though the situations has changed even though the circumstances have changed even though the era has completely changed but teaching still takes place teaching was done in gurukuls thousands of years ago and teaching is still taking place through online lectures just like this youtube video the next one is it is an art as well as science you need to remember this very very important all of you if you don't know what a art is or what science is or you don't know how to differentiate between those please listen to this particular lecture carefully if i talk about art art leads or results in skill development okay so with the help of art you'll be able to develop or master a particular skill it can be uh, you can say dance it can be painting it can be singing it can be any form of skill which you have acquired but if i talk about science science leads to or results to various theories or facts now arts and science are completely different terms they are completely different from each other if i go a bit deeper into arts and science now i can also say one thing art will have a personalized application of knowledge or a uh, personalized application of a skill right 
वेर एज साइंस इज समथिंग यूनिवर्सल सो दिस इज द मेन डिफरेंस दैट आई वुड लाइक टू शो केस हियर और एम्फोसाइज अपॉन वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एन आर्ट ओके वेन आई टॉकिंग अबाउट एन आर्ट इट इज रिलेटेड टू पर्सलाइड पर्सनलाइज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर स्किल फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ पर्टिकुलर सॉन्ग द सेम सॉन्ग कैन बी यू कैन से संग बाई अरजीत सिंह और एनी अदर सिंगर बट विद द वॉइस द टोन यूल बी एबल टू डिफ्रेंशिएट लाइक ही माइट बी द सिंगर और शी माइट बी द सिंगर इवन दो द सॉन्ग इज द सेम द टोन इज द सेम ओनली द पर्सन हु सिंगिंग द सॉन्ग इज डिफरेंट नाउ हाउ डू वी you can say uh identify that this song is sung by arjit singh this song is sung by atif aslam because they have personalized application every person applies the skill when he masters or when she masters the skill they apply the skill according to their mastery that is why it is very unique and it differs from person to person but when i talk about science it is universally applicable it doesn't depend upon person to person for example gravity gravity is something which is universal so i cannot say that gravity is in this particular place but it is not existent in that particular place that is not possible so this is the main difference between art and science art has its own uniqueness though there is uniformity though there is exact same thing but it has a beautiful uniqueness as compared to the other art or other same thing for example two songs one one song one single song sung by arjit singh and the same song sung by uh, kailash kher only by listening to that song you'll be able to determine that this song has been sung by either arjit singh or kailash kher you'll be easily able to identify why so because arjit singh has his own style of singing songs so does kailash kher whereas if i talk about uh science science is not personalized application it is same even if you talk about gravity i talk about gravity it is the same thing so teaching is an art because every teacher teaches in his or her own way like i am using examples i am using a smart board whereas other teachers might might use a blackboard or a white board or a better boards than me as well as it is a science because whatever i am teaching other educators or other online tutors will teach you the same thing but there is a difference in uniqueness i might teach with the help of examples other might teach with the help of other things this is how it is a complete blend a beautiful blend of uh science and art so teaching is science as well as an art and make sure you understand why it is an art and why it is a science because sometimes they ask you uh a confusing question regarding this so you have to be prepared like why teaching is called as an art and why teaching is called as a science okay now the next point is it is closely related to education that is the 10th point uh learning instructions and training so what teaching is teaching is closely related to education learning instructions and training now try to understand though these are closely related but these are completely different from each other if i say that teaching is education teaching is learning teaching is instruction teaching is training these are completely different but interrelated to each other that you need to remember now it tend towards self organization like slowly slowly when you start teaching and when you get the master of the content what happens is you get very organized your thoughts your concepts your knowledge gets very organized and you understand that okay first this will come then this will come this happens with the teachers and once you get the master of subjects you will also know like if i talk about um, research okay so if you have gone through research or you know what research is the first step of the research would be to understand the objective what is the objective of the research or what is the problem that i'm facing or what is the problem that i want to solve that becomes our research objective so here we need to understand that the 
प्रोसीजर द प्रोसीजर हेल्प्स अस टू बिकम मोर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड टू बिकम मोर यू कैन से कॉन्फिडेंट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक नाउ लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट यू कैन से पॉइंट्स इट इज अ सोशल सर्विस येस इट इज अ सोशल सर्विस बिकॉज इट गिव्स सोशल मेंबर टू द और गुड सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबल मेंबर टू द सोसाइटी सो दैट इज वाई इट इज अ सोशल सर्विस इट इज अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस येस टीचिंग टेक्स प्लेस इन योर स्कूल्स दैट इज वन थिंग you might have studied something in your school after your school you have go, uh, gone to college or the university and then even on your job you are learning something every every day okay there might be a training thing or there might be uh, learning of a new app application or a software or how to use this particular software so what you are doing you are learning every day so if you are learning every day there is teaching taking place right so that is why it is a continuous process it goes on it goes on after and beyond your school your college your university and your job okay now uh, it has high degree of autonomy autonomy here means freedom so all the people who do not know the meaning of autonomy just write it down in your books so that when you start recollecting the topics or when you start reading it again or when you start the revision you understand that what autonomy here means so a u t o n o m y that is the spelling and the meaning of autonomy here means uh, a level of freedom or independence also we can say fine so in teaching we have a level of freedom or independence like if i am taking the class of teach aptitude because right now i am free i am able to do anything but suppose ma'am if it was a college or a university then you are not free na yes in college or university the university will give me the lectures the university will provide me with the classroom the university will provide me with the curriculum with the subjects everything but how am i going to teach in the classroom that is my choice what methods i am going to use that is my choice so here we still have a level of freedom that how i'm going to deliver the lectures how i'm going to explain the students so that is all depends upon me okay so that is one of the things you need to remember it includes lengthy periods of study and training yes all the teachers who study or who like to study what they do is they how you can say um they take time they try to understand the entire concepts they go through the entire concepts and once while going through entire thing they'll be able to teach because they will have grip over the subject and the last is it is an intellectual activity it is not something physical activity that you can actually see performing someone like right now i'm taking a lecture okay and on the other side you might be just listening so here what is happening is intellectual transformation is taking place there is no physical exchange of things okay so it is essentially an intellectual activity that you need to remember at the same time you also need to remember what is the uh, meaning of autonomy as well as dynamic dynamic means which keeps on changing that's it for today these were the characteristics of teaching in the next class when we when we'll meet uh, we will be doing objectives of teaching and all the people who do not know let me just give you a quick update every day at 10 pm we are doing mcqs we are uh, starting from basic to advance so we had a class yesterday and day before yesterday we will be having class today also so today we will be starting with the uh i think we'll be starting with characteristics and levels of teaching aptitude so if you want to practice 10 mcqs every day what you can do is you can come live evening at 10 pm and you can solve 10 mcqs with me fine so that's it for today bye everyone take good care of yourselves have a great day and study hard